Hi, Peter Charles here, and uh, look what I finally got around to picking up, my Voigtlander 18mm f2.8 color scoper. So let's get this open and see what it looks like. Well, you've known on other videos, if you've been listening to other videos, you know I keep talking about the fact I've got the, uh, the 18 and the 50 on order. Well, I finally got around to picking them up. So let's take a look at this uh, lens and see how it compares to the others. Usual paperwork, and the usual styrofoam. We've got the same kind of uh, lens hood, lens cap arrangement as the um, 27 millimeter. And you unscrew that. So that becomes your lens hood, and there's your lens cap. So that's the same. So right off the bat, you can see this looks very much like the 27 millimeter. So here's my 27 and my, let's get them turned around the right way. Here's my 27 and my 18. Can you tell them apart? I mean, the only reason you can tell that's the 27 is it has the lens um, a filter on it and the 18 does not. But apart from that, they're identical. So what Kosian has been doing for Voigtlander is using basically the same components for both lenses. Now, I've talked about this in previous videos, but where you see the difference show up is, uh, let's see if we can put this on camera. So, okay, what you see is you look at the uh, distance from infinity to the next uh, marking on the distance scale, you'll see that the uh, distance from infinity to two meters is this on the 18 is the distance from infinity to three meters on the 27. And I think that's a consequence of them using the same components for both lenses, except of course for the glass. Uh, which means the 18 is gonna be a bit touchier to focus between infinity and two meters. But then again, it's a wide angle, so it's less critical. So I think really, in real life, it's not going to make a difference. I noticed that I have the same issue between the 35 and the 23 f1.2 lenses, and um, I got used to the 23 pretty quickly. So it's, I don't think that's going to be a big issue. They both take the same size filter, which is 43 millimeter, and um, they both have the tab. Let's see if I can show it here. There we go, there's the tab. They both have the tab for focusing, which is very handy. So I'm looking forward to getting this lens out. It is a lot slower than the other lenses I own. This, uh, the uh, um, 27 millimeters in F2, and this is an F2.8. But again, it's a wide angle. I don't think it re is really that relevant. I'm not going to be using uh, F2.8 very often, except in low light. I mean. So, uh, I mean, I've got the 23 f1.2, so if I can, you know, if I have enough uh, width of view, I can use the 23 instead of the 18. So, I, I really don't think the uh, f2.8 is going to be that much of an issue. Um, build quality feels exactly the same. The aperture ring feels the same, same as the uh, focusing ring. Very nicely put together. So, what we'll do is we'll get this out later on and get some... Uh, photo shot through it um, see how it ma makes out and especially since I've got a lot of stock footage done with my uh, old Fujifilm 18 f2 we'll see if we see any difference I won't be doing a true lens test I'll just get a, a difference between the two and get some impressions uh, and so if you have uh, you know where you want to go between the Fujifilm and the um, this version you at least have some comparison so anyway there's the 18. I'm glad it's finally in my camera bag, or will be in my camera bag, and I can out, get out there and start using it. Cheers.